Good morning, y'all. Good morning. How are y'all doing today? Back with another video for y'all. And we are driving right now. We're driving through Florida. Uh, Highway 121, right outside of Worthington Springs. Uh, just left a little town outside of Gainesville. Uh, it's pronounced on Alchua or Alchua or something like that. I don't know. Uh, we're heading up towards Savannah, Georgia. A little bit of a dead end to go pick up a load. Um, we just pulled a load coming down from Tennessee. Uh, picked it up in Portland this, uh, this afternoon about, about 1 p.m. Drove all the way down here and now we're heading up towards uh, Savannah, Georgia. Trying to make it to the other side of Jacksonville before we can stop. We'll have to see. About 3 o'clock in the morning right now. Figured while I was driving, I'd make this little video, give you guys a little bit of update what's going on and whatnot. So, uh, this could be my last, uh, my last little week here at USA, my last, one of my last runs. So, like I said, I got this load right here. Came from, uh, came from basically leaving the house, came from home. Pulled it down here to Florida. Like I said, I got a load picking up in uh, Savannah, going to Adairsville, Georgia, right out, right just north of Atlanta. And depending on how things go, and I'll get into more in a minute, but depending on how things go, um, this should be my last run with USA. Um, after I drop off the load in Adairsville, I'll head over to the, uh, to the shop in Atlanta, turn in my, uh, my logging equipment, turn in all my stuff for my ALD, my transponders for my tolls, and take the stickers off the truck, give me my permit book, all that fun stuff, right? <clears throat> if everything goes to plan. Now, what do I mean by that? So, I've said before, I have a job that uh, I'm actually going to be starting. Uh, pretty soon. If everything goes to plan, I should actually start it Monday. Um, if I waited, I was going to try to stay, you know, I was going to let the week of Thanksgiving be my last week, but <clears throat> due to Thanksgiving um, and the way the new company does things, I wouldn't have been able to start until two weeks after Thanksgiving what they do is they'll bring you in on Friday you'll sign your papers um, get your plates your stickers and you know all that stuff fuel card things like that <clears throat> on Friday that way you're good to go Monday morning I bet I could do that Friday after Thanksgiving so it would be like another two weeks I could start. So I decided to go ahead and try to make uh, the week of Thanksgiving my first week. I'd only run for three days, but it wouldn't be too bad. So um, we're just waiting on BNG or Pro Lease to send in my title uh, to send me pictures of my title. <clears throat> They've got to send me pictures of the title so I can send that to the, uh, the new company I'm leasing on to is like give me my plates. Um, <clears throat> that's all we're waiting on. I've already done pretty much all my onboarding, all the stuff online. They wanted me to do the videos and things like that. I've already gotten that done and taken care of. <clears throat> I already took my drug test. I already went, I think in the last video I made, I just went and got the uh, annual DOT inspection done. That's been completed. Um, I've already sent in like my med card, things like that. So that's all they're waiting on is just my uh, my title so they can do my plates. <clears throat> so we're waiting on BNG to do that, pro lease. Um, so I kind of go over what you got to do. Transfer your truck if you have a BNG or like I said, now it's pro lease. Uh, if you have a truck through them, kind of what you got to do is transfer your truck. It's 
pretty simple. It's actually very simple. Um, not a lot to it. Basically, you'll contact Charlie, let him know you're going to be, uh, you're wanting to switch your truck to another carrier. Um, he sent me, you know, basically another uh, copy of the lease agreement, you know, everything I kind of need to know. <coughs> Just a few over. Um, from there, he'll, he'll let you know that it's, you know, $5,000. Straight five thousand. That's it. Just five thousand dollars. <coughs> like I said, I sent mine in on Monday, so that's all they were waiting on for, to be able to do that. Was just for me to send them that five grand. So I did that or first thing Monday morning. Um, <coughs> send them. Like I said, send them the five thousand dollars. Uh, you got a couple different options. You can do that. Uh, you can either do a money order or you can do a bank wire transfer. Um, whichever's easier. So, got that done. Uh, after that, that's really it. And, you know, he'll ask you if the new company does settlement deduct. They do prefer if the new company does settlement deduct because that makes everything easier for everybody. But it's not a must. The company does not have to do settlement deduct. If they don't do settlement deduct, you just work out a way to make payments with Charlie. Whether it's money order or you know bank wire, <clears throat> I'm gonna talk with them more. I'm gonna see if they can't just you know see if they don't have a way they can just pull it from my account or see if they have something set up with like Zell. Uh, Zell is basically a, a transfer thing uh, between banks. Makes bank transfers a lot easier. So if you have the TCS fuel card kind of know what I'm talking about. You can use Zelle to transfer money. So, let's see if they got something like that they can set up or whatever. Um, your payments don't change. Your truck payments don't change or nothing. They stay the same. So, <clears throat> but it's very simple. Uh, if you have a BNG or what I said, Pro Lease truck to take it wherever you want. Um, they don't have to approve a carrier. He, they don't really care where you take the truck. Um, you know, a lot of places like SFI or Tail, they have to approve where you take the truck to. Um, if they don't approve it, you know, like those companies have to do, I'm pretty sure have to do settlement deduct. And I know, I, hold on, I don't think they have to do settlement deduct with SFI. I might be wrong on that though. If you know, let me know. But um, they do have to approve of the carrier. So if they say no, it's a no. Um, pro lease ain't like that. They don't. They do not care where you take the truck. They don't care if they do settlement deduct. As long as you make your payments, they don't really care. Um, another thing is that Charlie was discussing with me is um, swapping companies like this. Uh, if I choose to, I don't have to send in the money for the maintenance account. I can just do that on my own and put it in my own account for maintenance instead of sending it to them and then when any, when any time I need something, having to try to get a hold of them. Uh, instead of just making it a lot easier to let the drivers take care of it. <coughs> but that's up to you. That's between you and Charlie if you choose that. So. That's it, it's really simple. Not really any paperwork you gotta do or nothing. It's really just straightforward. The biggest thing is just sending them the money and then that's it. Just let them know what company you're going to and that's pretty much it. It's real simple, real laid back. It's what I like about them is they try to keep it simple and they're really good about working with you. So, uh, that's pretty much it as far as that goes. <coughs> uh, like I said, so I'm just waiting on the title. 
so I or pictures of the title so I can get them to this new company and hopefully like I said Friday um, I can just go in there I get my get my plates my stickers all my insurance paperwork and, and permits and all that fun stuff and Monday I'll start so pretty excited about starting this new company. I'm nervous, but I'm excited. Uh, seem to be a pretty, I've heard good things about them. So, um, yeah, you know, some people have asked me, you know, why is the personal reason have anything to do with money? Um, they said that could be a personal reason. <laughs> and now, that's not the entire reason. It is just some personal things I have go on, some things I've got, you know, that have to do with my family and some things like that. So that's the major majority of it. Now, does money and things at USA have to do with a little bit of it? Yeah. Um, because if I was making money like I was when I first started at USA, I could afford to still stay at USA and take more time off. Um, you know, like I said, you know, you guys watched from the beginning, you guys know I was three or four days out, three or four days off, and still bringing home $1,500 after all expenses. Uh, I couldn't do that now. There's weeks now that I don't take home $1,500, and I'm out for a week and a half, you know? So, um, you know, so that does have a little bit to do with it. But not fully. I guess if that if that makes sense. So <clears throat> um, you know, I know a lot of people that are leaving USA for different reasons. You know, and then like I said, USA has their things that do they do that aggravate the piss out of me. Uh, like, you know, sometimes I have to drive a long distance to look for a trailer. I was seven months in, before, or really almost eight months in, before I found out, oh, you're supposed to get paid if, you, if they send you to look for a trailer. I didn't know that. Um, <clears throat> and, you know, things like that. So, I mean, that's irritating. But I got to say, overall, they're not bad. You can come here and make money. But, and they've saved me a lot of money too, so I can't really say too much bad about USA. Because, you know, when this truck was in the shop, needing those repairs, they saved me close to five grand. So, you know, and I'm grateful for that. But, uh, overall, you know, in some parts, I hate that I'm leaving, like I've said before, I've got an awesome dispatch uh, manager and there's a lot of cool people I've met here at USA so that does suck but you know time to try something new you know we're gonna make the best of it try something new and uh, hope for the best so I appreciate you guys watching I'm gonna go ahead and get back to driving um, got about 45 minutes left on my clock we're working on finding somewhere to park trying to make it to the other side of Jacksonville. I just don't know if I will or not. So, But we'll see. I appreciate you guys watching. Uh, if you would, like, share, subscribe. Let me know if you got any questions. And uh, y'all be safe out there. Peace out.